How's it going guys? Uh, William here with another early review of some new uh, merchandise coming from the new Star Wars film as well as some of the uh, new shows and games. Uh, tomorrow is Triple Force Friday, but I did manage to snag a couple of the Hot Wheels Starships line that I've uh, covered before. I covered some Last Jedi vehicles last time, but I actually managed to find um, a vehicle from the new Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian, which takes place a few years after Return of the Jedi, and also the Resistance A-Wing fighter from The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I just wanted to take a look at some of the, uh, the ones I managed to actually find. First up is the, the ATSD Raider, which uh, is in, featured in the new series, The Mandalorian. As you can see, it's got a pretty slick paint job. Um, some really cool white striping on the, uh, the legs and the head along with some uh, sort of red on one of the legs. Now, since this is a few years, this t the show takes place a few years after Return of the Jedi, we can expect to see quite a few original trilogy uh, vehicles appear in the show, since, um, you know, the Empire, I think, is more or less still around. It's fragmented, but it's still around. I don't know who exactly is using this vehicle. Um, I'm going to guess it's not the Empire, just from the uh, custom paint job that it is, but it's probably some bounty hunter or some kind of, uh, you know, scum and villainy type character using it. It's pretty cool. Um, I do have an ATST uh, from the original trilogy as part of my collection, but this is a really, really good find. Um, just the custom paint job alone gives it a really distinct look. And I look forward to seeing it in the new show. Now, the next up isn't quite as exciting, but it's still pretty cool. It's the Resistance A-Wing Fighter. It's definitely a sleeker, thinner design than the uh, Rebel A-Wing. Now, this fighter did appear in uh, The Last Jedi. It was utilized pretty well there. Um, it looked really cool in the movie and the opening um, over Dakar. Um, I don't really know what's different about this particular one. Uh, maybe it's a slightly different paint job, it looks like. Um, but it does say from the new film, The Rise of Skywalker. So while it's not terribly innovative, it is a pretty cool figure. And I look forward to seeing it in the film. And uh, hopefully um, tomorrow I'll be able to get kind of uh, get the ball rolling on a couple of more reviews on these figures as early as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, again, my name is William and may the force be with you.